six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. And there is successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying our 18th Power and resupply nominal. mission uh, on a Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Now we're currently in a what we call the throttle bucket, and that's because in about 30 seconds we have an event called maximum dynamic pressure or max Q. That's the point where the vehicle, vehicle experiences the highest aerodynamic stresses. Um, so what we do is we bring down the engines a little bit, pass through that point, and then throttle back up once the atmosphere continues to drop off above that point. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. So now we're through that point I'm of maximum dynamic pressure. Now, coming up are a series of rapid events, uh, main engine cutoff, then stage separation, followed by second engine start of the second stage's Merlin vacuum engine, and then the first stage is gonna conduct a boost back burn, followed by a Dragon nose cone deploy. Now, main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Followed shortly after that is stage separation, and then, a few seconds later, the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Dragon into low Earth orbit. In fact, uh, during ascent, you heard the call out for engine chill-in of that Merlin vacuum engine. So again, coming up in about 10 seconds, Miko, stage separation, second engine start, and then stage one boost back burn. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back started. And you can hear the cheers behind me. Uh, that's a, you're looking at a successful start of the Merlin vacuum engine on your right screen and the boost back maneuver on your left hand screen of the first stage. Uh, shortly here, we should have nose cone deploy off of Dragon. Uh, and we may be able to see that on the right-hand screen. And there goes the nose cone on that right-hand screen. Uh, we no longer need it now that we're out of the densest parts of the Earth's atmosphere.